Hello, my beautiful artsy fartsy friends of TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, whatever have you. Hey, we are now, we have made it to spring. Woo! Finally. It never can come soon enough. Of course, it's still cold, but that's how spring is in my little home state of Kansas. You know, you gotta keep the jackets out for a little while. So for, you know, in a in a, honor of some friends of mine, my one of my most supportive part of art friends, Shannon, and a lot of my family members, my mom, who is also a beautiful, wonderful artist, Betty, and my late Aunt Ethel, who loves this kind of flower. Um, she passed away quite a few years ago, and there were sunflowers all over her funeral. We're going to do the sunflower because we I am a Kansas girl, and there's several reasons. So, Let's just get going with it, you know? I hope you guys enjoy these, but we're going to... I've done sunflowers over the years in many different ways. Um, I've done them with watercolors and gouache in a way where I did, you know, how in the center, you know, you had the center and you had these seeds and you had different textures. I did it with little patterns that I would do in different colors in it, which were really fun. I still would like to do those. I did it with my scullies in the center. But today, I'm going to do more tradition. I'm going to explore a new way to do this with all of you because you're so special to me. So, let's sketch out one. And let's go ahead and paint it. And, you know, sunflowers are just such bright, beautiful flowers. Um, they are very sturdy because they're out in the fields. Because they are, as you know, harvested for the seeds and set oils and several other things. They're a very wonderful plant have a lot of wonderful resources from them and you know they're beautiful to look at and they're just amazing to draw they're so much fun so let's get i'm gonna find me a nice gray pen uh, marker to sketch them so you see what i'm doing okay we're just gonna go in and paint them it, it's a lot of fun so let me find my you know this is live and i don't do anything scripted as you may know i actually just do this in my living room this is a lot like how my desk looks when I when I go to my cubicle because I feel more at home when it's a mess, right? I'll be honest. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Let me put the rest of my gray pants marker because it doesn't show too much. But you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Yeah, I'm going to pick these up because we might do some sketching later on. But mainly I do a lot of acrylic because I have a beautiful, wonderful, big group I'm part of in, in um, YouTube. I'd like to share these with and I hope to be the next Bob Ross one day because I love him and he's so amazing he's my ultimate hero and I also want to do this for I do this for my folks I've been doing uh live lessons on and off since the pandemic because you know art is a great uniter and everyone should have a way to relax and this is a great thing to do and it relaxes me and I'm a big ham so I love to talk to my people okay Let's get started, shall we? Okay. So one thing, if you do a field of flower, sunflowers, they're all going to face the same direction, which is really cool. Because you get, you know, it's like a community, and they have so much personalities, you know. But I'm going to just do a full front on one for this, you know. Just know you can face them any direction as you go off and you do them on your own. Because I all want you all to grow and paint what you like of mine have a good time with it so let's get started so you know i the centers you know as you said they have a lot of depth and color to them really it's not just a circle oh one thing you might want to do i'm going to use this i'm not going to use this because i'm giving this back to my mom because i'm going to see her in hutchison yay but you could you know use one of these things if you want to a little cheat and just do the centers this way if you want to you know you could put the whether brown, you could put them either on your palette with a brown around there, maybe a little green in the center, because they are a little green sometimes, like a circle towards the center. And there's different colors like oranges and a little bit of yellows in the center. You can get so in detail. Or you could just do these and just add the color. But I'm going to do these freehand with you because I'm, I'm going to give these back to my mama because she paints and she's the sister living and painting is really her therapy. You know, it's been a big adjustment. She's adjusting like a champ over there. So let's do this. I want to leave a little room for 
sky, blue sky, because nothing is so wonderful in composition as having the, you know, field of sunflowers and have a beautiful, clear blue sky with some, some um, clouds in there to show. Um, oh, I want to tell you, my grandma Naylor, um, in her house when she was around, you know, she did a huge um, painting of these on court and framed it and put it over in a place of honor in her house. So I always remember that. And I loved how she did it in the court because it kind of like reflected like the texture of the center. So it was really cool. I'm going to do that someday when I get my hands on some cork and some space. But right now, we're going to just do it so we can enjoy it together. Let me do this way so you can see it. So yeah, I'll do a little pattern here and just get started like a circle. You know, do the best you can there. And the, the petals, they're soft, but they're kind of raggedy in the middle. So I kind of reflect that in my drawing. And I like to do you know, something like this, you know. And I like to do, because there's so much color you can do. A little center, like, you know, think how you're drawing like a little, like flame or something like that. A little flame kind of uh, pattern. And Because you can make that orange and a darker yellow here. You know, I just like to get the pattern out so I can put as much color into this as I can. And I, you know, they don't they're not all symmetrical because they're out in the elements, you know, and they're they're a tough flower. Like like Kansas people have to be with the strange weather we get. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna do little patterns like this, you know, the leaves just of the petals just doing that like this. And you can make them as full as or shelly as you want, you know different ones they they probably all fluctuate because petals might be blown off by the winds and the elements out there and the in the fields is a tough kind of place there's no shelter really you might have animals that you know like crows or you know stuff like that just jumping all over them so you know and it's more of a this is more of a summery kind of flower maybe into autumn but my friend Shannon wanted to do it, and I know she's dealing with some weather over in the Mountain West area, so I love flowers, sunflowers anyway, so I love sharing these with her, with you guys, and she's especially so supportive. So, you know, if you guys see a flower that you really like to see me do, I'd do something in honor of you, too, because you're all special. So, you know, I don't do uh, that private messaging so much. I don't see the messages on here, but any of my posts I have, just comment. I'll, I try to answer and look at all of them. So let's keep on doing this. And behind here, there might be, there are petals like layers of them, you know. You know, just, there's no pattern in nature, but if it does you well to, you know, does, serves you well to do patterns, that's okay. You know, make this your own, you know, as I'm going to do. And I, I do count on, I like to work really wet with my acrylics. I love the colors just to mix together and just create this whole other dimension, which is amazing. So, okay. So let's just work on this one here. I'm just going to do these raggy little lee, uh, petals, I should say. And I do bounce because I do get really creative here. Yeah. And maybe later on towards, you know, when... When I finish my, my flower thing, maybe we'll do a scully bloom with a sunflower. I love to do those, and they were popular for my, my peoples. If you want to, let me know on one of these posts. I'll do one for you. I can't show you examples because I sold all of them. Okay, that was my little thing, but not brag, but, you know, I found my audience, you know, with those. But I'm just having a good time just... Getting the idea of the petals across. I'm probably getting more detail than I would with any other flowers because there's so much potential with these petals. They're so much fun. That one almost looks like he's going like rock on right here. Don't you see that? The fingers. <laughs> Never mind. All right, I'm being silly. But I'm so glad to be with you guys. Today I watched a lot of basketball. My baby loves those. And my baby uh fried some chicken for us, made some Broccoli, cheese, chicken, casserole. I love it when he does that. So good. And we just hung out a little bit. It was it was a nice afternoon. <clears throat> I hope you did had one too. All right, let's get to drawing. Yeah, I'm getting really graphic with these because I love sunflowers. I'm glad Shannon asked me to do this. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's do this. And anytime I can give you all some joy with my flowers and my blooms, you know, 
That's why I love to do these. You know, someday I like to do it for a living. I mean, we all have our dreams. And shoot, you know, more people you get to watch these, you know, the better off I'd be. But it's really relaxing and fun to do these and know that you guys can enjoy these with me. And I bounce. I do bounce a lot. I'm a bubbly kind of person. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's looking fun, isn't it? It's kind of fun. It looks like a sun, you know, like sunflowers, you know, kind of reflects the sun. So, yeah, it's kind of poetic, kind of cool. All right, there we go. We got the petals in there, right? I guess it's a good idea. I kind of want to, for a reminder, give myself a little pattern because I do want to put a little hint of maybe the olive green in the center, like the ring here like this. So I'm going to do a little bit of those patterns like I did. And there, those those sold like hotcakes too. Uh, my my mom, I should show you a picture a painting my mom did. She kind of reflected that, and she did little dots of yellows and oranges in the center in the dark brown. It was so pretty. It was a painting I kept of her. She let me have it. I'm so happy. And I want to do this because there's a little ring of like a yellow kind of mixed in there. So I'm going to kind of do that pattern there. I can't help it. Old habits die young <laughs> or die hard or whatever you say. And just a little, yeah, I'm just going to do a little light little pattern so I remember this. Okay. Kind of give me a reminder as I'm painting. Now, yeah, these usually, this is a bigger, bushier kind of sunflower. But again, this is not reality. But these are on stalks. Like you would see corn. Ah, I don't know if they're like corn, but... They're little hairy, tough stalks because these get really top heavy, you know. So we're going to kind of reflect that. They're, you know, they're sturdy enough. And they have these leaves that pop up on them. And, you know, I'll do the best I can to depict these. Those leaves are, are tough too, you know. They're, I mean, these aren't just flowers. They are, are like, these are, uh, you know, they are crops. Sunflower oil, sunflower greens, sunflower seeds, which I love, of course. I'm kidding. You know, something like that. You know, just, you know, do a stalk. Make it a long, broad leaf like this. I just like to fold it over. You know, a line like this to indicate it folds over. A little indication of the veins there. Makes it beautiful. You know. And this is a lot more realistic and uh, descriptive. And I usually do these, but I'm just, I like discovering new ways to do things because you never stop learning, right? I mean, that's the joy of life is to keep learning. And because if once you think you know it all, you're not going to learn anything else until you realize you don't. Okay, guys, I learned that a lot at a young age and that's a valuable lesson. But you should be confident in what you know and what you can share with everyone. At point two, so that yeah, I know life is not a simple explanation like that. Do you kind of like that? Is that fun? I'll just kind of yeah, continue with this. Well, I don't know, I think maybe they might kind of bulge out in the bottom there too. But when I paint it, it might not be totally showing all that. But we'll see how this turns out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm just gonna do a really you know. A really traditional kind of sunflower this time. Yeah. So we do this. You know, Kansas girls should do our sunflowers, you know. You know, I guess. <laughs> Alright. But I hope you guys got a lot of fun spring things to do. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to do a lot of my store like I used to have. I'm going to do that in the spring a lot during the weekend. So I'm going to quick try to do as many flowers as I can spring into summer for all of you. Even though we might be busy here and there. But I'll get it in there. I'll try to. Okay, so we got we drew one of these, see? And kind of see what I'm doing. I am going to do the leaves first, and I'm going to enjoy a bunch of yellows, you know, playing around this. You see my palette here? Yeah, that, that will give you an idea. That will give you a palette where you can see. 
I'm just going to do different yellows. I'm going to do sunshiny yellow like this. So I'll put that on here. Oh, ooh, that's really messy. See, live video. Make it real because I'm, you know, it's like I'm hanging out with you and painting with all you. A decent amount there. I'll use it. Let's do this uh, more bust type of yellow. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be nice and rich to do it that way. Let's just put this somewhere. Yeah, that's real nice. I would do a little orange, too. Why not, man? Uh, yeah, I like that orange. It pops that way. It just makes it, helps it pop. And that, this, you know, again, this is, goes back to the little patterns I put within my leaves. All right? It helps me as a guard. A guide, I should say. <laughs> okay? Again, I like to work really wet with these. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. I'll do this little medium soft flat brush. I just like to work with those. And basically, towards the center, I'm going to be a darker color here and there. And then towards the end, because there'll be a lot more light, I'm going to go towards the sunshiny yellow. All right? Real simple like that. And, you know, just play with it wherever you're comfortable. So, yeah, let's get a little water on there. Let's just go for it, man. So let's do that a little bit on the center little patterns I have. Put that orange here and there. You know. Just, uh, you know, enough variation to make it fun and interesting to you. Right? And I saw a picture and I shared it on here. There's a lot of different colors of sunflowers out there. I saw that picture. I'm like, that is really gorgeous. So you can do whatever colors you want. I have an idea of using, like, you know, whenever I get hot tea, using tea bags and, like, doing a texture of the tea bags so this can look aged, like a burlap sack or something like that. It's having a good time with that. You know? You can have a lot of fun with these and make these really stylized if you want. I like that. That's good enough for the orange because I don't want to make it a, a, what is it, chrysanthemum or anything, or poppy. Yeah, it's supposed to be just adding to the color. Let's go to the um, bus yellow over here. Just a little more water. Again, you know, just nice and light and having fun with this. Just see, blend. It blends on their own when you work wet. That's just what I like to do with these. Everyone has their own style and it's meant to be embraced, guys. It's meant to be, you know, your world, which is fine. It's beautiful when I see other people's paintings and how they do this because you know this is where you have your own control and you feel control of your little world you know it's a precious thing here we go just have a good time with that and we can just go between these colors until we're satisfied i'm going to go with the sunshiny yellow now and i'm just going to put that on the end nice and wet so they could just mesh together you know these little bonus colors when you move them together it's just so rich and so beautiful yeah, that's fun. And as little or as much little or as much color as you want on these, man. It's pretty. It's fun. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Good suggestion, Miss Shannon. She's my YouTube friend, or excuse me, Facebook friend. I like the suggestion. Thank you for bringing me back to my roots and having a great time. I might make some uh, bus sunshiny yellow with a little more of that bus yellow just to. You know, because there's some behind others, you know, so they might have some shadows. So enjoy that color. Embrace that sunshiny, you know, color because, you know, winter's over, folks. Let's get into those beautiful colors for spring and summertime in Kansas, you know. Spring is in, you know, those in-between seasons, the ones I love, like spring and autumn. A lot of times they're short-lived, so you got to enjoy it while you can. And I kid you not. Okay, next weekend is like, you know, the weekend after this one is Easter. And, I, you know, Ross was telling me about something serious, but I couldn't help it but smile because I saw, like, at a busy intersection near our home, a motorcycle with this, uh, this dude in this full-on Easter bunny suit with a purple shiny jacket. I'm like, okay, that is cute. 
Thank you for that, because I really needed to see that, Joy. <laughs> so fucking cute. I, you know, I didn't see the face, but I was just like, how in the heck do you drive this motorcycle? And he was doing it um, with a full Easter bunny suit. It was so cute. It was so fun. I like it when people forget themselves and just enjoy, you know, enjoy things like they were a kid. Because, you know, the world is like a wondrous place, and... Sometimes I'm like, why grow up? You got to grow up sometimes to take care of business, but why can't you have, you know, we adults have fun too. It's okay. You know, go ahead. That's what life's about. I'm just going to stick a little more different colors in here because I'm loving how this is turning out. I hope you do. But, you know, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, I'm, I'm falling in love with this like too much. This is because you see the layers when you put it on there of pills. In the background, just hanging out there. Because it, it can get very full. It can get very fun, these sunflowers. But just let it happen. Whatever's meant to happen. Yeah, I'm quite satisfied with that. All right. I'll keep this on the side because I'll be I'll probably be doing sunflowers until late tonight. Now, let's have some fun with the center, shall we? Okay, of course, the obvious color, the brown. Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to pull in some of the oranges and the yellows and little specks and things like that. But let's add a little fun colors. I'm just, because I'm going to use this anyway, green. Let's put the greens out now because I'm going to do a little, like, faint green in there. You know, it all comes in the center because that's where you get all those seeds. You know, that's that's how, that's the life force right there, the seeds. You know what I mean? Not to be silly or sound like you know, nature child, which is not a bad thing, but you know, but I'm going to just put some fun greens in here because I'm going to want it for my leaves anyway, you know, a little olive green, a little lime green, maybe another lighter green, yeah, this one might not, yeah, we'll just put a little fluorescent green in there, we'll just make it pop, yeah, I gotta remember what I have in here, yeah, oh, that one's different. Yeah, always shake your bottles of acrylics because you'll get all that oil if you don't. All right. And I'm just going to clean off this brush. Okay. And let's just try this out, man. We'll try out. We'll do a little bit of brown on the, in the, brown on the outside area. I just do it in little brush strokes going on the outside in a little bit. I'm trying not to follow any patterns because... You know the brown might seep into the 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 petals there. There might be spaces in there like that. You can let it go out a little bit. No, nope, nothing. Perfection is boring, in my opinion. Sometimes it's nice to see, but I don't strive for it because I like to have fun. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that what I consider a pea greenish color. Well, actually, before I do that, let me take some of this orange here. And I'm just going to let them seat together and put a little bit of orange in there. See how that me meshes in there? Is that fun? Gives you a little depth, right? Makes it like a little... How do you describe it? I don't know. I don't know. It just gives you... It makes it pop out, right? Let's do a little bit of this pea green color. Because I just saw... A picture of that. <laughs> it's like literally on the outside, little dots of green on it. I'm just going to do that real light. Just let it, let Mother Nature and just have a good time with it. It might seep out there. Oh, well, if it does, hey, even better. And we'll just put a little brown in the center, right? There you go. We'll just let it, let it do its thing. Yeah, it might seep out there, but I like that. I like that whole... Happy accident stuff, because I'm a big believer of that. Not to quote, be silly and quote Bob Ross, but it really does make things richer. You just let it happen. All right. And then the usual thing with our, you know, with our stem, you know, just maybe make it a little lighter. I'm going to take this lighter color here real quick, the light, bright green like this. I'm going to outline those little veins on my, on my leaves real quick. Just do that first. It's not the co brightest color out of the thickest color of green, but I'm just letting things happen and have a good time with it. 
And what I do is I usually draw the first one. By the time I get done with this, I kind of get an idea of how to do it without drawing it. But I like the sketch look too, so that's pretty too. You see how I'm doing that though? I'm just going to lightly, you know, sketch these little veins on there. All right, that's fun. And let's take, I like that pea green, so I'm just going to take that. love that. That's a rich color. I'll just do that on one side of my sunflower. I just do a line. That's my thing. My little cheat to give it, make it three-dimensional a little bit. I'm just going to put some on the edge of these leaves a little bit. If you want to go in with like a white color um, with a thin brush, you can do the little hairs on this because there's little tiny hairs and it's so much fun. I think I'm going to go with my little lime green a little bit. And I'm going to put a little colors in there. I'm not going to really fill them all because I've got an idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little color of that. I'm going to make it as rich as I can for you. And for dots like that, like that drips, ah, I love it. It just adds to it. It is a painting. But let me, let me play around with this, okay? Let's take some of that sunshiny yellow. Just clear it off. That's how we're going to finish it off tonight, okay? So sunshiny yellow. And that's how we're going to finish it because we're going to give it a nice highlight. So let's just go in here. And just let it happen. What happened, happened here. <clears throat> Sometimes you can't fight things in life. And, you know, let's just let it be. That's fun. It gives a texture to our... Our leaves, right? Yeah. That was fun. I'm just going to let Mother Nature happen. Just like, you know, how the sunflowers grow and follow the sun. Hey. Hey, guys. Looks like we got ourselves a sunflower there. Black? Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. <clears throat> Let's do another one for practice together, okay? I'm going to scoot you over here. We'll just do one together here. Um. How? Oh, I like that. That turned out pretty. Just, you know, they just grow in rows because they are planted quite, you know, they're, they're planted with seeds by human beings, you know. So let's do another one now. I'm going to just do one like a different height because I like a little variation of this, you know. I'm just going to do some very basic patterns again. But nice little reminders here. What I'm trying to do with this. I like how structured it is. So I might draw these out, like several of these, just to have a good time. It's not a perfect one. This might be one that just had a little bit more issues, you know, as a seedling. But little raggedy leaves. Just a lot of fun, right? Little patterns here just remind me <coughs> when I'm doing with these. Yeah, just draw real quick. Just don't think about it. I, again, I like putting on a TV show I like to relax. You can watch basketball if you like. Uh, you know, after a while, the noise gets to me, but that, it's fun. But I work at the call center, so sometimes I like silence. You know, if you guys want to, I don't know how to do the little gifts, but you guys want to give me a gift, hey, you know, go ahead. And that would be always appreciated. I could use some more. I might run out of this little canvas paper here soon. So I always use that. You know, if you guys would like to. I'm not doing this for money, though. I'm doing this because I love to share my art with the world and with you fine folks. Yeah, let's just uh, do a little pattern. I'm just doing it quite quick. You know, again, you know, just having a good time. Not worrying about perfection again. It, you know, things are just, when you sketch them, again, it's going to be very, it's going to be, you see how that, you don't see much detail of that. So, after you paint on it, that's a good thing about painting. <clears throat> it takes a whole life on its own when you get that color in there, right? Yeah. That's so much fun. And one of these times, you know, when I get off my flower thing, I'm really doing flowers because I don't have a yard to plant any during spring and summer, so I'm painting my gardens inside, all right? I'm trying to get a house here soon so I can have a garden. <clears throat> my mama, you know, doesn't have hers anymore because she's in the assisted living, you know, so she's painting a lot of flowers too. And, you know, until I get my own garden, I'm 
going to be doing this. I like to paint my... Sometimes I like to paint these all year round because it's just a lot of fun. All right. And let's do one of our stocks like that. Okay, coming from the center here. And some leaves, you know, just different patterns of leaves. It's not going to be exact at all. Variations are so much fun. And if you hear in the background, yes, we do have my favorite show. One of my favorite shows, Guy Fieri, Triple D, Diners, Drivers, and Dives. I do like to watch that. I don't cook, but I like to watch food. Food is amazing. <laughs> yeah. So if you hear that background, that's just Guy Fieri doing his thing. I always like to watch that stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I could have turned that off, but oh well. Again, it's live TV here, yeah, buddy. All right, let's do that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'll sneak another leaf in there. But see how fast we can do that. All right. All right. Let's get some done because I hate to waste paint, right? All right, let's do this. Okay, orange again for the center. Oh, we'll make it a little more wet because it's drying up just a smidge. Just a little bit. And I like that, too. This is kind of fady. It just happened that way. It's just my touch. Just a, you know, just sometimes I don't wear my glasses and I'm near, I'm far sighted because I don't want to see the detail. I want to see just like an impressionistic kind of view of this. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's okay. Just put that wherever you want. Let's go bus yellow. I'm just cleaning off each time, mostly. Best type yellow. Put this in here whenever we want. Yeah. This is just the flowers. Whatever you do the background is up to you. You could do a beautiful, like, saying, you know, on top. You got pl oh, sorry. plenty of space for that. You could uh, you know, make it very folksy and put, like, a little barn in there if you wanted. You know, some flowers are just some fantastic design to them. So, it just, it gives itself to a lot of things you could do with this, you know. I can do full field as far as the eye can see. I'm not really sure what I do with these. I just let them. And the bright sunshiny yellow. Let's get that in here, too. Sunshine. Good day, sunshine, man. That's okay. Like that. I like to bring it in because, again, it you know, vary so much with these. Flowers are so beautiful because they're imperfect, but they just, uh, I don't know what it is, you know. Anything they do is perfection because that's what we, you know, flowers are our standard of beauty for a lot of things most of the time. And except for those stinky plants they have in tropicals that bloom every well now and then, but the bugs love them. They smell like, you know, flesh and stuff, and the bugs... Go for them like crazy. That's their, that's their candy. You know, I wouldn't know how. You know, I'm not a bug. You just have a good time with that. I'm gonna add a little bit of more yellows in there because it's trying to uh, dry up. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Let's put a little more. Yeah, a little bit of here and there. Yeah. Let's and then let's do our brown. All right. Just have a good time with that. Brown is fun. Nice contrast with this. So I'm going to do a little brown there. Again, I'm going to kind of push out. Like I thought I liked how that turned out. Kind of melted together. You always come in here and correct if you do that. I just let it happen, man. You know, just... You know, we all have our preferences. How we do these things. And that's the fun part of art. And the soothing and therapeutic part of art too, right? Just let that be. I'm going to put a little orange like I did before because I liked how that turned out. I need to use this orange up. Well, the orange is getting brown-like, but that's okay. That's fun. Oh, a little more orange there. It's a beautiful, fun color, right? Maybe a little bit of that pea green again. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Just to give it interest again. Do you kind of like Isn't that fun how it does it? I might stick some of the little bells yellow in here, too. 
But I'm going to do a little brown in the center because I always think they have a little bit of a dent in the middle. You know what I mean? And, you know, we can go back and just add a little bit to these. It's all right. And let's do our greens. All right, pea yellow, just like I like to do on this side. So we have the same kind of a light source going on here. Boom. Let's do that bright yellow or bright green. I like this impressionistic kind of look here. I'm going to do a little bit on the veins of here because it's fun. And shoot, I got orange going there, but hey, why not? It's, it's again, color. Color is a gift, right? I'll just let it have. Do its thing. And we're going to take the yellow. Why not? Let it happen, man. Boom. Like that. Yeah. If you don't have fun with art, what can you have fun with, right? Let's just let it happen. Oh, it's like a multicolor one. That's so much fun. I like it. But you guys see what I did? Just had a good time with this. There we go. We got two sunflowers just like that, guys. Looky there. Isn't that pretty? You like it? I hope you do. Guys, paint sunflowers, paint tulips, paint whatever your heart makes your heart content, right? Just have a good time with this, guys. But, um, yeah. Just add a little bit more there because I have some that. And I probably kind of forgot to put, like, the little ones in the background. The more you add, the more rich it's going to be. I'm just adding these colors because they're getting dry a little bit. I don't uh, I might touch that little bit with a little orange in the background. Give it more depth. Yeah, have a good time with this, guys. Yeah. Life is not meant to be so serious all the time. And it can get serious. There's things, serious things that happen where you had to adult up, but your art time this is for you to be a kid guys or an adult whatever you want to be and just be the yeah be one of god's creative creatures out there right there we go we got some sunflowers i hope you had a good time with you y'all always love doing this with you and for you but yeah um if you guys have a poll there of other flower suggestions i'll probably go and just do flowers until i get sick of them and there's so many flowers out there, you know, and there's plants, too. We can do succulents. We can do house plants. We can do philodendrons. You know, those are beautiful, too. So we got a lot of fun plants. I'm just going to do it. And if you guys ever, you know, have any questions, again, I'm not much in the messages on here because I get really busy. But, you know, just ask me on here. Don't be afraid. I am just here with you. I'm, doing, I'm sharing the art because it gives me joy. I want you guys to have a fun time and find joy in it, too, along with me. All right, so we're going to close up shop for the week, guys. And I'll try to get one out next week. I mean, you know, it's a holiday, but I'll be around here. I work on Easter. Blah. But, okay, guys. But kisses. Thank you for joining me again. Bye, y'all. And have a wonderful spring and stay safe for me, okay? All right, signing out. Love, y'all. Kisses. Bye.